just live in this uh, nice spot here. But, uh, didn't uh, film too much yesterday because both once again Meta and Jamie had a little bit of a bad stomach up in the uh, in the year camp up there. So uh, we didn't do too much yesterday apart from we spent the morning there. Then Meta wanted to take a minibus to another town, so uh, we arranged that and then started driving down the road. But then we arrived in this valley here, and I thought it was just too beautiful a place just to whiz by in a car. So, yeah, we agreed to stay here and camp here. So, got out the minibus and stayed here. So, uh, yeah, so now we're cycling again from here. So, uh, not too much happening yesterday. But, uh, now on the bikes again. So, uh, I think. Uh, Jamie's okay again, but it's still got a little bit of a bad stomach, but let's hope it uh, gets better during the day. Had gone away again yesterday, but then came back in the night. It's just oh, turning into a nightmare now, all these problems with stomach problems all the time. But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see how it goes today. Okay, let's get on the road. Valley is just full of wonderful wild camping spots everywhere. Just wonderful grassy areas next to the river here. We're leaving the river now, heading up the valley here to our left. Should be a waterfall around here somewhere, but I haven't seen it yet. Goes to a really beautiful valley here. How about 2,500 meters here? It's not quite far. Here yeah, you can see why Kyrgyzstan is known as Switzerland of Central Asia. It really is beautiful here. area for skiing with these nice smooth green ski pistes here. side. Okay, now we just climb from 2,500 meters to 3,020 again. But here, it's not that cold, nice and warm, so we sit on the carpet now, have yeah. a bit of lunch. Strange and cool, was very cold, and here it's summer again, very strange. And here today, for the first time, I think that uh, Kyrgyzstan looks like Switzerland, like we've heard about it. It's the first time we see like really nice landscape. Yeah, it's really nice here. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll have some lunch and then it's just downhill, I think, this afternoon. That'll be nice. So, okay. <laughs>
Okay, shouldn't be long, we should be approaching a sealed road. It's been made by Chinese people, so it's been really a very nice, smooth road through the mountains here. See if that's, uh, that's it down there, maybe. So, this is the Chinese highway we've heard about. That's the end of the gravel road there. If we turn right here, we'll go south here and go to China. And if you turn left here, go north to Isikul Lake. So, uh, yeah, I heard there's a bar here. I'm not sure what that means. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get here. Something to eat or some water or something. Also, if you turn right here, this is the road to China and to Kashgar, the main city is Kashgar. So, just filling up with water here. I have to filter water and get it from the river here. We can buy it in bottles, a bit easier. Make sure we don't get bad stomach. Okay, so now we're riding on this Chinese main road here. Nice and smooth. So that's nice. I think we can do about five kilometers more than find a place to put the tent up. Very nice road, this Chinese highway here. Very smooth. <laughs> so, let me just found a camping spot for tonight. Over there, some nice grass right next to the road, but uh, a nice grassy area there by the river. We'll give that a go. So the tent is up. Yeah, not far from the road, but we're just on the other side of the river, so that's okay. There's a little trailer over there. See where the people are living here on the side of the road. And uh, Jamie's wiping the bags over now because. Uh, now yeah, we've finished with the dusty roads for a while. We're on sealed road. That will be nice and smooth. Not so much dust, so then we just uh, give the bags a wipe over. And, uh, after that, then it's time for relaxing and just having dinner. So, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, so that was uh, the end of today. Um, today we found out why uh, Kyrgyzstan is known as uh, the Switzerland of Central Asia. It's a very green day today, it looked a lot like Austria or Switzerland. Nice and green, lots of trees and uh, yeah, not so many people, we're on a very very quiet road so it's a dirt track but not stony, so easy going really, one climb to do but uh, yeah. Didn't take too long, so um, now we're here on the main road. So tomorrow we've got a main road to follow all day. Should be about 70 kilometers, I think, tomorrow, plus one mountain pass, and then we should be in a town and stay in a, a hotel. So that'll be good. It's been a few days now since we had a shower. There's no shows up by the yurt camp, and uh, yeah, so um, last time I think was Beto. So okay, that's it. We'll uh Get a bit early so we can get our strength up tomorrow to do uh, 70 kilometers on this nice smooth Chinese road. Okay, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.